Yo, when I tell you my luck can't get any better, my luck cannot get any better. Every week, I've been hitting home runs, and today is no different. I was on a whole different mission, and that mission got aborted to something else, man. And I can't wait to show you what I'm about to pick up, man. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace. Scully on. Got the on feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the boyfriend? Right back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? Yo, I am driving clear across town to get some shoes or take a look at them or potential buy them, potentially buy them. The homie hit me up Saturday. They're like, yo, do you know those uh, Air Jordan 1 Chicago Mids drop? I'm like, nah, never heard of them, never saw them. He's like, yeah, man, they in uh, Foot Locker. I'm all right. Fast forward to today, Monday. He's like, yo, you ever got them? I was like, yo, I never made it across town. Um, I've been trying to get these university goals <laughs> throughout the whole week and no success there he goes yeah man i think they still got pairs you might want to hit them up so you know i did and i was like yeah let me head over there and see what these these shoes look like so i'm in route take a look at these air jordan one mid chicago's yeah i'm actually intentionally going out in these streets to buy me some mids man we'll take a look and see what they look like hopefully i get them all right so we just pulled up to the dead mall I'm outside the building, but before I go inside, I want to show y'all what I got on feet. These are the Air Max 1 watermelons. Um, haven't rocked these in a while. First time I rocked them was in Miami, obvious, Miami vibe. Then I rocked them recently this year, and I bust them out again today, but this is not the perfect weather to wear these because it's raining. Got the suede on the toe box, and you got suede on the back heel. Um, yeah, so it's more prone to get damaged. Not a, a good rain shoe, man. I have a lot of other options for rain shoes. I do not know. I don't know why I picked these shoes to rock today, but nevertheless, man, we got them on feet. So this is what I came for, man. The Chicago One Mids. The biggest size they have is size nine, though. No 12, no 11 and a half, no nothing. This is what size nine, nine, 10 is the biggest. What should I think about these? White back heel, white toe box. I'm not even mad at it, man. And these just dropped like out of nowhere, man. It's just dropped out of the sky. No release date, just, there you go. And he saw him since Saturday. And the guy just told me this is sold at the last size 12 today. I'm just a couple hours too late. And they got two pairs. Yo, what are these, the Galaxies? I forgot what they actually called them, man. I see a few YouTubers pick these joints up. They're going for a buck 30. They're cool, they're cool. Damn, look at the tongue, though. Chromed out, chromed out swoosh. Okay. Look at the shoe above it, though. What is this? Is this a woman's shoe? I like the colors, though. 17 is the price, but it's 97. Yeah, look at that uh, neon green. Well, that's not neon green. That's just a green air bubble unit. Man, it's literally been 16 minutes since I got off the phone with the um, the store employee, man. And I'm about to pull up right now. It is raining outside. This is rainy, rainy season in uh, Orlando. It's not the best, but I always come prepared, man. I got, don't got my rainy shoes on because, uh, yeah, I didn't expect this to happen quite how it did. But um, definitely got my coat. So we about to pull up the DTLR. The homie said, yo, they just got some pairs released. No one knows. Hopefully the shoes he's talking about they got, they still have, and no one knows but me. Obviously, I'll let y'all know afterwards. <laughs> I ain't nobody outside either, man. There ain't nobody in the building. Yo, there's literally no one in the store, man. No one. There they go at the register. Can y'all see that far? Oh wow, they still got these? Size nine and a half. That's crazy. And they still got these joints. Okay, I bought these from here, I think what, two weeks ago? I do already have those. And they got these as well. But this is what I came for. I see them. Can I get this in the 12? Okay. I uh, appreciate it. All right, y'all, so it's a wrap, man. 
was able to cop pull up. I was the only one in the oh, I was the only one in the building, man. There was nobody in there. Y'all saw when I walked in. The store was pretty much dead. But I was it, I just called on the whim. And it was like, yeah, unless you want these. And I was like, yo, I, I'll tell y'all the story when I get to the crib, man. I'll see y'all in a bit. And we're back in the sneaker office, y'all. Let me give y'all a quick story of how this whole day panned out. The homie hit me up a couple days ago. Let's rewind the clock to Saturday. Jordan release day for the Air Jordan 12's University Gold. You already know the story, I didn't get them. He did, he was picking them up. He went to Foot Locker as well and he saw the Air Jordan 1 Miz Chicago white heels. That's the shoe I showed in this video. I didn't know the name until I did a little bit of research. He hit me up today, Monday, asked me, yo, did you end up getting those shoes? I was like, I never went across town. He goes, oh, I thought you'd be interested. I was like, after pondering for a bit, I was like, why not? Let me go over and take a look at those shoes, man. I pull up to the Foot Locker at West Oaks Mall. Y'all know, AKA the Dead Mall. I vlogged that mall several different times. You already seen it. I went there all across town for a pair of mids. Nevertheless, they did not have my size. They had a size nine was the biggest size they had. And the homie told me they came out um, a couple days ago. And um, he checked other stores. He checked Foot Lockers, House of Hoops, Champs, Foot Action. No one had it, man. No one had this shoe. It seems like that's the only store in Orlando that got them. So I took it upon myself to like hit up other locations pivot sports and i hit up dtlr and i was like yo do you guys get those air jordan one mids chicago's white heels he's like nah we didn't get those we got the air jordan one um smoke grace i'm like what he's like you got the smoke grace he goes yeah um i was like you talking about the high og smoke grace the shoe that dropped like two weeks ago he goes yeah we got a late shipment so we just got them in a day no one knows i just put them on the floor i'm like what bet say no more i'll be there so that's how I was able to pull up randomly. I was on a mission for one particular shoe and ended up buying another shoe by accident. Just calling around trying to see if I can find my size. And that's the story. But nevertheless, man, I want to show you guys these Air Jordan 1 uh, Chicago White Heels. Because I caught them at Foot Locker, size 9. Peep the label. These are size 9, not my size. And these are the Air Jordan 1 Mid Chicago them at the Foot Locker at the West Oaks Mall. They're calling these the freaking white heel. Um, the colorway on the box actually says gym, red, and black. These are size nine, not my size. And it was hitting for $115. Um, I would say these released July 25th, 2020, obviously this month, a couple days ago. And you know, Jordan 1 Miz is getting a lot of love this year. I, you know, Partially dibble and dabble with Jordan 1s. They're not my favorite. High OG 1s are absolutely will be the ultimate Jordan 1s for me. But there's a few pairs I like. And this one was pretty cool. A lot of people didn't like this shoe because of the white heel in the back. And I can't get mad at them. And also with Jordan 1s, you already know the quality on the shoe is not the best. You're not going to get the tumble leather on the Air Jordan 1. It's not going to be premium. Not at all. I'm happy that they removed the Jordan logo on the back heel, but you still also have the jump man with the ear on the tongue. Uh, obviously it's a mid cut, getting leather is not the best. This is not, you know, something you go crazy and fancy over. Black laces, pretty much the whole theme is Chicago ones. Look at the outsole, all red, black swoosh as I mentioned, a white toe box, white panels on both the medial and lateral side of the shoe. And that's all you pretty much getting for $110. What you expect, man? What do you expect? Um, wasn't able to find my size at any store in Orlando. I'm not sure what it is like in y'all area, man. Y'all can tell me down in the comments down below. And then next, we got these joints from DTLR. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And these are the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Grays. Cop these from DTLR. They're size 12, my size. On the box colorway, shows uh white and black and smoke gray and they retail for 170 dollars i did mention these shoes came out like two weeks ago july 11th to be exact and i did not get them day one man Fuck out let me give you guys my thoughts and opinions about this shoe so let's comb through it real quick it's smoke gray on the midfoot uh throughout the whole toe box area and back heel of the shoe you also got a black suede Nike swoosh, which you can find on both on the lateral and medial side of the shoe. You got a white tongue with a Nike Air tongue tag. And you also got a extra set of white laces and a black outsole. Now, the suede on here is pretty good. The leather is not the best. It's not the premium leather like you'll see on the Jordan 1's Vans, 
the rolls, the shadows, the shadow backboards. It's not that type of leather. It's pretty much like the cardboard leather. It's not premium by any means. Now on the upper part of the shoe by the heel in red, that is a little bit more softer. And don't forget that Nike Ear Brandon Wings logo on the side of the shoe. Can't forget that that embossed Wings logo. Um, the leather is a little bit better there. And also in the, in the black area is suede as well. Cool shoe, $170. And to be fair and to be real with y'all, I actually had a pair since last week. The homie blessed me, man. I had a homeboy who looked out for the homie, man. Salute to you, you already know who you are. He blessed the kid with these, man. So I never got around doing that video. And it's only right, well, since I was able to buy these at DTLR, let me talk about my other pair. My other smoke gray Air Jordan 1 high OGs that dropped a couple weeks ago, man. I'm blessed to have good people, man. I'm surrounded with a lot of good people that be looking out. This is the second pair of um, Jordan 1s that someone looked out for me. Uh, one of the homies looked out for the um, Royal Toes, and now homie blessed me with these, uh, these sneakers. Not only this shoe, he also blessed me with this shoe. Y'all remember this shoe, the Air Jordan 1 Black Satin? The shoe that I talked horribly about, like I had no interest. Well, I came around liking it. I saw a few people's customs and I'm like, yo, I'd rather have it now than regret it later. If it's a custom I would like to do with this shoe. So I got it for the archives, man. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Will I rock it casually like this? If it grows on me, I would. But I have come to that point, like I don't need every Jordan 1. Um, no longer do I care to get it, like just to have it. I'm like, if I'm not rocking it, I'm not buying it. I would love to create the biggest and greatest Jordan 1 collection of all times, but nah, I'm over that whole buying every Jordan 1 kick. I want to get shoes that I really like. And this shoe, it grew on me over a period of time. Plus the price was right, man. So salute to the homie who came through and purchased this for me, give me a dope price and also hit me up with this shoe as well, man. You already know who you are. Thank you, thank you, salute to you. Salute to everyone who's watching this video. This ended up being a Jordan 1 pickup video, essentially. That's what this video ended up being, man. Eventually I'll find this in a size 12 somewhere. I'm not gonna hold on to it. I could take it back, but I doubt I'm gonna do that. Uh, Jordan 1 mid Chicago white heel. Jordan 1 smoke gray. Another Jordan 1 smoke gray. And lastly, we got the Jordan 1 black satin, man. Thank you for everyone pulling up for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Y'all like my light right there? You know what I'm saying? Kind of switched up the room a little bit. But um, other than that, uh, leave your comments down below. Your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Can't believe I bought a size 9. I don't even wear a size 9. This is one of those shoes where I say I did it for the video. Literally.